Flappy Catters. Today we're doing the final product review video for the Easy Groomer Combs. They come in a five tooth comb and a seven tooth comb. We were sent both to review and they say that the seven tooth comb works better for long haired cats. So that's um, what we're going to brush Murphy with today. Murphy is my parents 12 year old ragdoll cat. Um, he has an awesome coat, um, not much of an undercoat because ragdolls aren't really supposed to have undercoats, but this is going to show you how well it works. Murph. So the design actually comes from nature. The inventor of this comb was fishing in Whistler, Canada, and he saw some salmon jaw bones on the side or in a pool of water and he picked up some of the teeth and he brought it home and he was messing around with his cat later on and um, ran the tooth along the cat's fur and noticed how much hair it pulled out. So see all that hair that we just got off from Murphy. So the design is actually a salmon tooth uh, is what how it's designed and when I did my arrival video I hadn't read about the product too much um, or the testimonials and what you're supposed to do is run the comb parallel to the cat's body so that um, so that it's not digging into their skin but rather pulling at the same oh, turn him around this way <laughs> at that same angle so my parents cats Camus and Murphy really liked to be groomed and brushed and so did the cat I grew up with. My cats, Charlie and Trig, do not enjoy being groomed or brushed. So they have not... This works really well for them and there's going to be footage in this review video of them getting groomed, but or of Trig getting groomed, but they don't really enjoy it like Camus and Murphy do. And, Cam and Murphy isn't... He's, this is just how he is. He likes to move around a lot. I'm just trying to keep him in the same spot for the video. Um, now I'm going to get Camus and we'll do his coat so you can see the differences. Okay, and this is Camus. He's Murphy's half-brother. He recently had an ear issue where he had yeast and bacteria in it, so it was shaved and um, it's in the healing process. So sorry for his appearance on his face. but And then the antibiotic and the ear wash is kind of on his ears and stuff, but he's doing fine. He, there's nothing really the matter with him. It just looks a lot worse than it is. So my parents' cats both have this um, situation where they like to stick their bottom up, and we call it elevator butt. <laughs> okay. So again, this is a seven-tooth comb. Camus's coat is very different than Murphy's. They both have excellent coats. But Camus's is more like a bunny fur, um, so we'll see what it does on his. I also wanted to mention, um, because my cats dislike being combed so much, um, I wanted to do this review with Camus and Murphy. So I brought over a comb to try it out on them, you know, shortly after it arrived in the mail. And I, my mom wasn't home, so I forgot to tell her that I had left it over here. And so the next day, and why I left it over here. So the next day I called and I said, Mom, did you see that comb I left on your desk? And she said, yes, I tried it out on Murphy. And Ginny, it gets a lot of hair out. Um, so I love that she was proactive and tried it out herself and then got all the hair out as well. So you can see how Camus isn't minding this too much. Um, I'm pulling, you'll, you'll see it. Oh, I got a little knot there or something. I pulled at the same rate I did on Trig. Oh my gosh. You must have a knot or something, kid. Um, so all of this, we're getting out from underneath him. And then he, um, this is all hair that he won't ingest. So he won't have hairballs. And then uh, the, the manufacturer also talks about how it helps their digestive system because they don't have as much hair in their digestive system. To me, I'm more worried about the hairballs and then the hair that I have to pick up later. So I was actually told about these combs from a reader named Teresa, and she loves these combs so much, she says she basically gets another cat off of her cat 
when she brushes her cat, her ragdoll cat and she wanted to try them out. And then another reader, Patty, has one as well, and she loves it too. So um, I wanted to introduce these to the Floppy Cats community for that reason. I really like the design. I really like the story behind the design. Um, and I do think that these would be better if we used them outside, but Camus, as you can tell, is enjoying it. This is my sister Amy, and she's using the Easy Groomer 5 tooth comb on Trig. So my cats, Charlie and Trig, really hate being groomed. <laughs> hate being groomed. Like, it doesn't matter what you use on them, they hate it. So um, they're not good candidates to show that cats like the brush because they don't like any brushes. But um, Trig in particular, we're getting a lot of hair off of him, so I wanted to show you how it comes off. So there's that, but then there's also there have also been chunks um, that come off that are sitting on at the end of his tail from the brushing like this right here. Did you got white hairs? There you go. So you're supposed to run the uh, comb parallel to them, so like not at an angle but parallel, and then these comb teeth pull the hair um, out when it's parallel to the skin. Tiggy, you're a good kitty. You want to smell your hair? Good kitty, Tiggy. It's not so bad. <laughs> Alright, so Amy and I have switched it up. I'm doing it now and uh, Amy said she wasn't applying as much pressure. I don't think I'm applying pressure necessarily as I'm just like making sure it's really pulling through the hair. So this is what I'm talking about. It leaves these kind of clumps and so you just kind of pull those out. That's why I had originally suggested in our unboxing arrival video that it be done outside because it leaves um, a lot of loose hair around. But Somebody commented on our arrival video too that you could just wet the comb and make it. I know, you're, you're like crying wolf, dude. You're like crying wolf. You and Charlie do not like your stuff being messed with. Get it, Teague. Oh, that's good. I did this earlier with Ch Charlie and he um, he wanted to bite the comb too, but they, they want to bite every comb, so that's not really a good uh, measure. Okay, we've gotten this side pretty well, but I'm going to do it a couple more times. Sorry, I know that one hit the wrong spot. Sorry, that was rude. Release your anger around the pole. <laughs> okay, babe, come here. I know, when I say that Charlie and Trig hate being brushed, there are people that comment on my videos saying, um, Wow, if you call that hate being brushed, you should see my cat. So I know that they're not terrible, but... I was raised with a rag doll who loved being brushed, and my parents' cats, Camus and Murphy, love being brushed. Uh, that's the kind of stuff he does. <laughs> like, uh, all, all of a sudden, bolt. just crazy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you see him uh, chomping yeah. on my head? Yeah, that's what he that's does. That's what Ash will do, too, when I, when I get in a sensitive spot. Okay, baby. All done. I'm going to make sure you get all this hair off of you, though. Got a massive pile of hair right here. So, guys, that's about from, I don't know, two or three minutes of brushing. Not much. Um, and he could obviously be brushed more, but he's pretty irritated at this point, so I'm going to let him go. My sister asked about their belly. Um, I think it's going to depend on the cat's belly as to whether or not it needs to be combed with this comb. One of uh, the readers in our arrival video asked me about the different, you know, if I'd ever tried a Furminator. Furminator is totally different than this. Um, it, it literally is razor blades that cut the cat's hair. It doesn't really pull out the dead hair. It just cuts the hair and cuts the sheen. So the one time that we did it with Camus, for example, um, the, the sheen in his coat and the extra top hairs that really make a coat pretty were all... Um, were all cut off. So this is completely different than a Furminator. It's not going to ruin the look of the cat's coat. It's literally pulling out the dead hair from underneath. 
So I don't really think that the comb works terribly well on bellies. I think it's better for their back fur, their back coat. Um, and that is all I have to say about the Easy Groomer comb and brushes. I, or I don't know, I think it's pretty much a comb because it's teeth related. But I prefer the seven tooth comb over the five tooth comb uh, for the cats that I have brushed, which have all been ragdolls. And I will include a link in the about section to where you can learn more about the Easy Groomer comb and where you can buy it. They're about $10 each. And then shipping varies on the quantity that you buy. So um, it, I think it ships from Canada. So you could um, go, you know, in with a friend on it if you have a friend that has a cat and then, sh you know, share the shipping cost together, perhaps, um, or ask your vet to start carrying it or something like that. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.